I'm going to use this oracle. Greetings, beautiful soul. Welcome into your tarot card reading for today. We're taking a look at money messages for Zodiac Saint Cancerian. And if the messages, um, the, and if the title resonates with you, do follow along. Thanks so much. And yeah, all of your support on the channel is abundantly, abundantly appreciated. These messages are for your entertainment. Listen, take what applies for you, use your own discernment, okay? So to clarify this reading, I'm going to be using this Oracle card deck and this one. So one is Lenormand and one is like, I think it's the Chakra Healing. If you are interested in these decks, let me know. I'll give you some more details. But these are the ones that I'm using. The reading so far, there's something about a father... A, ma a mother, a company, an entity, or a particular person, an ex-boss, someone you're leaving behind that is realizing that you're no longer dependent upon them, you no longer need them, you no longer need their words, their voice, their validation, their opinion, and they feel triggered, offended, upset, angry, jealous, and they are, you know, like gators, they are also upset because the truth is coming out about them. So they're upset because you're leaving them behind. You're triggering their insecurity. You're making them feel insecure. These people were making you feel like you needed them. These people, these groups, these entities, whatever, these organizations or this one particular person. They wanted you to feel like you needed them. They're realizing that they need you. So you could be walking away from anyone and choosing. It's not that you're walking away. It's more like you're choosing you. You're choosing to believe in yourself. You're choosing prosperity. You're choosing luxury. You're choosing um, health. You're choosing wealth. You're choosing um, to be free. You're choosing to be a free thinker, to stand on your own nine of diamonds. You're choosing luxury, a life of well-being. You don't want to be... Um, you don't want to be subjected to a particular way of living anymore. So you're choosing yourself. You're choosing to be smart with your money. You're choosing to be smart with your food. Smart with your family. You want to leave something for your generations. Right? And someone is realizing that you're pulling your energy from them. And they did not want that at all. So you may find this person trying to run after you. Come after you. Hey, what's going on over there? I thought that you were going to show up for me. And they're realizing that you're actually choosing something that is healthier, wealthier, better. I was saying, because I shuffled this reading earlier, and I'm embarrassingly, I ended up deleting the message while I was, I recorded like 26 minutes, and I ended up deleting it while I was about to edit. So now I'm doing it over, so passion. So basically, um, so this, this person now, uh, oh yeah, so I yeah when I so when I was recording first, I was picking up on two two like like we're, oh my god what's going on stuttering, all right so I was seeing a like a college campus, you know when they show in the movies how the college students they have a they have sorority parties right, and um these these um the 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 oh my god the the popular kids at school usually have the big parties you know, but. In this movie, now the, some of the popular kids ended up going to the nerds parties. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Someone is offended that you chose yourself, you chose the richness, you chose genuineness, you chose reality, you chose yourself, you chose to study yourself, you chose to make your own, you chose to stand on your own and stop taking their empty words because it's like you were going and you, you were giving up yourself for nothing, you were giving them your money for nothing your time, your energy, and they were giving you hot air. You know, they were filling up your head with hot air is the energy. So now these smarter thinking people, which is you, you decided to go to where people are real, people really love you, people really care about your interests, people are listening to what you say. These people you're going with have a vision. Or you're choosing yourself and separating from from any person that was trying to intimidate you, make you fearful, make you weak, make you feel insecure. And now they're feeling that. And so this person is having, like, they're coming to a realization that you, people, they should treat people good for real. Because people have genuine, real, realistic needs. People have ambition. 
You're not just a plaything. People want to see something manifesting in their life for real. So, because a lot of people left this person behind, this group, this company, this entity, they're really having to sit and questioning, wow, like what have I been doing this whole time? I really have just been feeding people hot air. And then when they come to the, they go over to the side where you're choosing yourself, they're seeing food, they're seeing money, they're seeing land, they're seeing health, they're seeing what you really love. They're seeing with the Ace of Cups that this is really true. This is really life. <laughs> you know, you're you're actually doing work. You're actually, um, yeah, it's something like this where people are seeing that you're the people over on this side are actually like investing in themselves planting seeds and developing communities even if you're doing it on your own let's say you go yeah that's what i'm saying and then um i was even saying in that reading before i pulled the ten of diamonds earlier that you're walking upon a lot of i literally predicted the ten of diamonds before i pulled it out it was an epic reading you know that's why i'm doing it all over without reshuffling so you're walking into a lot of abundance, health, wealth, and prosperity. Like Alice in Wonderland, Yellow Brick Road. I was saying grounding yourself outside and connecting with real life. You can manifest anything you want. And that is what someone did not want you to know. That the things that you were going to them for, you can get it on your own. You can be self-sufficient. You can live well. You don't need to have to, you don't, you, sh you did not need to go to them for substance so you're finding your own substance sufficiency in yourself and it's taking power from this person that's really upset mm -hmm. and there's so much love and healing this and i was saying this is a message too from your ancestors the ten of diamonds is a lot of wealth like i was guaranteeing you that you're about to manifest a lot of money like you're about to manifest wealth in abundance joy and creation a lot of it and i was saying stand on it stand on that ten of diamonds because i was feeling you're standing on a lot of money this could be the earth this could be your investments and i feel like this is also your future where you're gonna have a, some financial breakthroughs in your future okay so you may have been waiting for these three of wands you felt like there were blockages, but you're going to realize your dream is coming true when it comes to your money, your family, your generations. You're also a generational curse breaker. That's maybe why it's been hard for you. And you may be like the last one or the only one of this time, soulmate. Right now, you need to group up with your soul family so you can keep strong because there are many loners like you. Who need to remain united soulfully discovery okay and yeah I was saying you're also like full of potential full of possibilities you can do anything you want you are an alchemist just believe in the process believe in the process have faith that what you want manifests innocently just knowing that universe is working with you you are like just the 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 body that the mechanics that put it together but in spiritual form it's already being done you're just like the person to bring it into reality because you are the physical reality right so you can have anything that you want is what i was saying so yeah just i just wanted to recap this reading that any group or entity corporation that you are a part of you are giving your energy over to your money your time your faith, your trust, your courage, your confidence to that person. And they were giving you a hot air in return, like serving you hot air. They weren't even putting it in a bag. So you really were getting nothing. And there was another party that came out, a party or a group, or you deciding to be yourself and go your own way, think your own thoughts. And then I'm seeing where this person, they decided to come look what's going on, why, why no one showed up. They were angry, like, because they were so, they thought that they were so in control. They were so hype. They thought everyone was digging them. But it's like they, they neglected to see that people were real. People are genuine. People have genuine real needs, genuine real concerns. Pe treat people with respect and dignity as if their vision matters, as, as if what they want matters. Instead of treating people like, then you know nothing so you give them nothing back in return 
So these people who see their own value, see their own worth, are, are aligning with people who see their worth and are giving them something in return. That is what people are choosing. That's what people are going for. So someone is really mightily disappointed. For some of you, this was like your parent that wanted to like restrict you, control you, and you think your own way, you think your own thoughts, and they are disappointed or angry. For some of you, this is like an ex-partner that you and them think differently. They don't agree with you, but they're always trying to run you down, over-talk you with what their belief, but you had to like separate. Some of you, this is a church group or some organization. This is the, some institutions that you've been dealing with for years. All of them that have been taking your money, taking your energy for a hot air, for something temporary, something you can't even see. Right, but no people are studying. I'm feeling like you're reading more, you're getting more intelligence. It's really disempowering someone, you're, and they did not like to see that. But don't worry, because they too are learning how to treat people really. You know, like imagine one of those college movies, like I was saying, and this person, no one showed up to their house party, and no, they're getting a, a, a like a, 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 they're getting faced with reality. All along, they were bamboozling. All along, they were just blowing hot air, gassing up people for no reason. And they're saying, well, oh my God, people have options. They're even having a shocking realization that people had options all along and they were actually giving me a chance. They were seeing the best in me. They wanted me to do them well, but I wasn't. This is what someone is feeling. Someone that mistreated you. Someone that thought that they had the power to bully you, take you for granted. They're realizing, whoa, I'm, I'm the weak one all along. Like, someone is realizing that about themselves now. For how they mistreated you, misguided you. And you, you're not even complaining. All you're doing is choosing you. Love and the spirits and all of your blessings for generations to come. For generations like, and then stability, the emperor energy here. Right? Someone is also a king. Someone also has Midas touch. Alright, you're also prophetic, you're psychic, you are, you are an oracle that's watching, you're super smart, you're going to find your way out of any pickle, any bind, because you're mentally flexible, you were made for these things, and whatever you've been waiting for, like those blockages, you're finding your way through, you're thinking a way out. That is also why the high spiritual realms use your powers, <clears throat> you know, because... Or maybe we should, like, that is why God uses you, or that is why you are chosen, because you are thoughtful. You don't stay confined, you don't stay stuck in the box. It's, this is especially why this person could not talk you down. For I feel like they tried many different tactics to get you to conform or to think how they want you to. They tried to convince you like you do need them, but then you thought of your own way. And this is what they did not like. At first... At first, you know, they thought that you were just being insubordinate. You were just being rude and stubborn. But they're actually, it's dawning on someone now. They're having a realization like, oh my goodness. I was really missing. The, someone is not even getting cake and sorry for some reason I'm getting. Right? Someone was just not getting, seeing the real truth of what is really going on here. So they were not really serving their purpose. So this person may be coming to learn from you, coming around um, to learn from you. You invested a lot in yourself too. You may be a, like you're a designer, you're a creator, you're an artist. All right, Mr. Sim, you came to this world for a very special reason. Maybe to talk the truth. Maybe to help people to realize where what they have been missing or where they have been going wrong. You know, you came already knowing the truth. You know, I feel like you're also a genius, if I didn't say that already. And you're, I feel like your work is, is about to be really successful. All right, you could be like the avatar. You're a bender. All right, so I will leave these messages here. And I will see you in the next one, beautiful soul. Take it easy out there. All is well and all is within you. Much love.